Work safely at height. This unit describes the participants skills and knowledge required to work safely at heights in the resources and infrastructure industries. This unit is appropriate for those working in operational roles where they are required to perform work at height. What areas are we going to cover? We're going to look at legislation relating to work at height, the Australian standards, standard operating procedures, the duties where work is being done at two metres or more, working conditions, what is working at height, the distance and consequences of a fall, carrying out a rescue, the factors contributing to injuries sustained from working at height, avoiding fatalities and injuries, duty of care in the workplace, the workers duty of care, who else has a duty to prevent a fall, risk assessment procedures, common height related hazards, the suitability, maintenance and review of risk controls, how to tell if a work at height risk assessment is required, the steps in working at heights risk assessment, communicating hazards and risks to others, a job hazard analysis, safe work method statements, instruction and guidance, a safe place of work, preparing a rescue plan, pre-job assessment, safe working on a ladder, falling in a harness, securing methods, providing edge protection, collective protection equipment, temporary scaffold, perimeter guardrails, fall prevention, safety nets used in the workplace, temporary work platforms, the operation of elevated work platforms, Scaffold and scaffolding work. Working near electrical lines at height. General terminology used in fall prevention. Work instructions. Fall arrest and fall protection systems. Fall clearances and hazards. Commercial anchor straps. The precautions to take when rigging. Connecting means for positioning and travel restrictions. The carabiner, what it is and how to use it. Rope grabs and pole straps. The height safety manager. Servicing and inspection. The equipment register and record keeping. Suspension trauma, what it is and how to avoid it. Emergency planning. The site management. Equipment maintenance considerations and or procedures. This course will cover all the areas that you should be aware of to be able to work safely at heights.